Paper wasps are 0.7 to 1.0 inch long wasps that gather fibers from dead wood and plant stems, which they mix with saliva, and use to construct water-resistant nests made of gray or brown papery material. Paper wasps are also sometimes called umbrella wasps, due to the distinctive design of their nests. Species The name paper wasps typically refers to members of the Vespid subfamily Polystinae, though it often colloquially includes members of the subfamilies Vespinae and Stenogastrinae, which also make nests out of paper. Twenty-two species of Polist's paper wasps have been identified in North America and approximately 300 species have been identified worldwide. The most common paper wasp in Europe is Polist's dominula. The Old World tribe Ropalidiini contains another 300 species, and the neotropical tribes Epipanini and Mischocytorini each contain over 250 more, so the total number of true paper wasps worldwide is about 1100 species, almost half of which can be found in the neotropics. Nests The nests of most true paper wasps are characterized by having open combs with cells for brood rearing, and a pecial, or constricted stalk, that anchors the nest. Paper wasps secrete a chemical which repels ants, which they spread around the base of the anchor to prevent the loss of eggs or brood. Most social wasps of the family Vespidae make nests from paper, but some stenogastrine species, such as Lyostenogaster fluvolineata, use mud. A small group of eusocial crabronid wasps, of the genus Microstigmus, also constructs nests out of chewed plant fibers, though the nest consistency is quite different from those of true paper wasps, due to the absence of wood fibers, and the use of silk to bind the fibers. Nests can be found in sheltered areas, such as the eaves of a house, the branches of a tree, on the end of an open pipe, or on an old clothesline. Some species, such as Ropalidia romandi, will vary their nest architecture depending on where they build their nest. Three species of polists are obligate social parasites, and have lost the ability to build their own nests, and are sometimes referred to as cuckoo paper wasps. They rely on the nests of their hosts to raise their brood. Behavior Unlike yellow jackets and hornets, which can be very aggressive, polistine paper wasps will generally only attack if they themselves or their nest are threatened. Since their territoriality can lead to attacks on people, and because their stings are quite painful and can produce a potentially fatal anaphylactic reaction in some individuals, nests in human inhabited areas may present an unacceptable hazard. Most wasps are beneficial in their natural habitat, and are critically important in natural biocontrol. Paper wasps feed on nectar and other insects, including caterpillars, flies, and beetle larvae. Because they are a known pollinator and feed on known garden pests, Paper wasps are often considered to be beneficial by gardeners. Facial recognition Recent research has discovered paper wasps have facial recognition abilities comparable to humans. One recent study conducted at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor showed paper wasps have the same facial recognition abilities common to humans or chimps. Faces are extremely important to species such as humans, said the study co author Michael Sheehan, a PhD candidate at the university. Studies show that when you look at a face, your brain treats it in a totally different way than it does other images, he said. It's just the way the brain processes the image of a face, and it turns out that these paper wasps do the same thing. The study consisted of a series of tests on the Polists fuscatus species of paper wasp. This particular species is unique in that it has extremely variable facial patterns from member to member. She and an evolutionary biologist Elizabeth Tibetz placed individual wasps into a T-shaped maze, with one image shown at each end of the top T-arm. Images varied from caterpillars, simple geometric patterns, and computer-altered wasp faces to pictures of a genuine paper wasp faces. These images were interchanged randomly during testing. According to Sheehan, whenever the wasp in the maze chose the side of the T-arm with the correct picture, it would get a reward in this case a safety zone. Though images were always changed, one particular image was always associated with a safety zone, Sheehan explained. Once the wasps associated the right image with the safety zone, they were able to choose the correct image and thus get to the safety zone essentially every time after. 
This suggests that the paper wasps' brains are tuned to recognize faces of their own special euro as with humans. Wasps and humans have independently evolved similar and very specialized face learning mechanisms, despite the fact that everything about the way we see and the way our brains are structured is different, Sheehan said. That's surprising and sort of bizarre. The unique, distinct faces of paper wasps, as well as the wasps' ability to recognize and remember each other's faces, are likely tied to the insect's multicolony social structure, Sheehan added. They have multiple queens and they all want to reproduce a euro they all want to be the most dominant. So being able to recognize each other helps them understand who's already beaten whom, who has higher ranking in the hierarchy, and this helps to keep the peace. Recent research conducted by scientists of University of Granada and University of Almeria has shown that the size of their body and color intensity of the body can be used as a measurement to find out the amount of toxic ability of each paper wasp. The toxin of paper wasps is highly toxic to predatory mammals like wolves and cats, as well as birds of prey. The paper wasps with high color intensity and large body produce lethal amount of toxin against other animals. See also, Biological Pest Control, Schmidt-Sting Pain Index, Polists, Polystinae, Ropalidini. References External links, National Geographic News colon wasps can recognize faces. Retrieved December 4, 2012.